It's early June out at Lake Skinner in Temecula, California. And even though it's still a few weeks away, it sure feels like summer. Have you ever been here before? Many years ago, like 15 years ago. Wow, there you go. That's interesting. How has it changed? It's a lot bigger, and the music's a lot louder. <laughs> <laughs> Hi there. Welcome to the USS Midway in San Diego, California. It's Memorial Day, and this is Legacy Weekend. We're here with Carrie Turner from JAG. Hey, Carrie. Hi, it's Carrie Turner from JAG. Woo! Carrie, what brings you here? Um, I have been on the board since they started. I, I started this with Ted and with Sergeant Major Tilly. And we're here at Vista Marietta High School for the Neon Trees concert. And we're very excited to be here because it's a fundraiser for the high school. And you can see a lot of people there expecting about 3,600, 4,000 people. These are all high school students. And up there is uh, the stage at Neon Trees going to be playing a little bit later on tonight. Everything that you sell in the front uh, mm -hmm. is packaged back here and right. is picked from your own apple farm. Right. Right? We're just getting through the washing process. What is this over here? This has a series of brushes and spray heads. Devin, do you have people standing here doing exactly what you're doing? Exactly, except you're not helping me, see? Oh. <laughs> so, uh, you know, I mean, i got to do it all on my own now. If you watch Amazing Race, they have you learn these dances and stuff like that. So the point is, Richard, that this is a lot of fun. And while you're, you know, volunteering your time, you're actually having a, a good time. Marijuana. The name alone is enough to cause a reaction in people. That's what happened when Proposition 64 passed in November 2016. Recreational marijuana use is now legal in California. But is it really? They're not only going as far as they can, they're possibly even going beyond what the law says. This led to several lawsuits. Even though legalization took effect January 1st of this year, Many cities still don't have regulations finalized or even on the books. And the headliner, Scotty McCrary. This festival feels like it has it all. And on its 30th anniversary, that's pretty much true. Just like the wine that they feature here, this festival just keeps getting better with age. Not a bad idea to get your tickets for next year. You can do that at tvbwf.com. For SWRNN.com, I'm Bob Matt. And I hear you're going to sing tonight. Oh, yes. Only if you'll sing with me. <laughs> well, I guess we're not singing. No, we're not singing. <laughs> Carrie Turner from JAG. Yay! <laughs> okay.